Got a catch of all Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. We've got more celebrations products, 25th anniversary set, celebrating 25 years of Pokemon. We've got the Lance's Charizard and the Dark Sylveon boxes. These are absolutely gorgeous, brand new V promos, throwbacks to some older cards. With Show you a bit more of those in a moment. Please remember, if you love celebrations as much as I do, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite card is from celebrations. What card are you trying to pull? And uh, yeah, I, let's, just crack, let's just crack these open. Gotta catch them all. And here are the Lance's Charizard V and Dark Sylveon V boxes. So we'll bring these back a bit just so you can, you know, take a better look at these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Um, they feature um, V Pokemon, um, popular V Pokemon, Sylveon and Charizard. Arguably, probably, you know, Charizard's obviously one of the most popular. Sylveon's still second only to Umbreon, I would say, in terms of, you know, popularity. But there was already an Umbreon Gold Star in the main set. So we'll, we'll crack the, um, Sil the Dark Sylveon box first. So... Um, these all released alongside the Waverom Wave Rom products on uh, October the 8th. So here's the back of the box. Um, you know, if you need any information, please feel free to pause the video at any time. Check it out in 4K. It'll take about six hours to render. But uh, yeah, um, Dark Sylveon V. So these cards aren't overly playable, but they're beautiful. So if you're a collector, if you're a fan of Dark Sylveon V, if you're, oh, sorry, if you're a fan of Sylveon in general, or if you're a fan of, you know, Jarazad, or even just going for all the Black Star promos, highly recommend these boxes. Um, we should have more of these on PlaceGetGames.com in the near future. There is a second wave of the wave, the second wave of the Wave One products. There's a second wave of the Wave One products coming soon. So as you can see here, um, you know, Dark Pokemon, they were in the Team Rocket set and they were kind of like, you know, trained by by, uh, by Team Rocket to be kind of a bit, bit naughty, a bit evil. Um, and uh, yeah, Dark Sylveon V is a mashup of Dark Pokemon and Pokemon V. So yeah, I really love these little booklets that they kind of included for all of the all of the cards and stuff. So let's, you know, crack this open, we'll take a look at this beautiful promo. Um, thankfully, they use the lids again nowadays, and so they stop with the poppers for a lot of these products. So most of the cards should arrive pretty nicely out of the box. So we'll have a have a look at Dark Sylveon V. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous! So who does the artwork for this? Ryoto Fuse. I'm not sure who that is, but yeah, we're gonna um, zoom in on this. Absolutely beautiful. Just look at the coloring and you can see dark so, so normally i'm not a fan of pokemon cards where you're seeing the back or the or the or the rear end of the of the pokemon that's why i've never really been a fan of like shining charizard and you know when you're seeing the back of pokemon but i actually quite like this unfortunately there is a bit of you can see at the bottom there, there is a bit of you know a ding or an indent or something in there so these these uh, ones are going into my um celebrations master set anyway as you can see the 25th anniversary stamps there so yeah very happy to see that of course i'll also be adding the jumbo card into my you know 25th anniversary jumbo collection which is really it's really neat so i'll put both you and the charizard there and we can put also any pools we can see which box actually gives us the best pools we can put the any of the classic collection or big hits uh, next to them so we've got ourselves one two Two, three, four booster packs of celebrations, which is what we want to see, and two really good sets: um, Darkness of Lays and Battle Stars for the bonus packs. And uh, yeah, if you want a Dark Sylvia on online, please redeem the code. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you redeemed it. And uh, yeah, we're also going to be streaming on Twitch every couple of days. Twitch.tv forward slash Playskit Games. So yeah, we'll crack into these packs. We'll we'll start. We'll whet your appetite with a Battle Stars pack. I think the last um, twelve or so packs. I've oh there we go. It's I think the last twelve or so packs I've opened um, have been uh, green co cards, and I think this one's no exception. So um, yeah, so that's not fun. So the, from the, do you mean from the sword and shield packs, obviously? But uh, yeah, there should be plenty more of these on the way soon. I think because this product is the easiest to reproduce, they can produce them all in in, in hand. They don't need to, you know, import the stuff from China because there's no dice, there's no giant plastic figurine metal counters and stuff they can actually print all of this stuff in the united states so i think we're going to be seeing probably more of this than any of the other any of the other products but i, I don't know we'll have to see Zamazen to v very nice very nice and a yveltel so nothing too crazy there but yeah i'd love to know how you know the celebrations launch is going for you maybe leave a comment below if you're watching this because i like to hear from 
hear from you all and you know see what the scene is because obviously i say that in the uk celebrations is quite rapid rapidly available if you actually go if you actually properly look for it as opposed to just hoping you'll stumble on it in you know test code or something celebrations is quite easily available for for the most part but i'd love to know what your experiences is because in different parts of the uk it may actually vary from um from person to person you know who you speak to I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that we'll get at least one classic collection card in these last two packs because, the, you know, those first two packs were pretty bad, not going to lie. So, oh God, what's that? I'm seeing like some dirt or something on it. I don't know. Maybe that's my fingers. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely loving Celebration so far. I think I've got like nine or ten of the classic collections, so I still need quite a lot. But if you have any spares from the classic collection, head to my Discord, Playscape Games. We've got a trading uh, chat room where people have been, um, you know, trading their spares and, you know, finding um, spares for their for their, for their their collection. Because it's very rare that I actually go out of my way to, you know, go for a complete set of a set. I think the last time I did that was Detective Pikachu. I also did it for... Um, sort of for um the mcdonald's you know promos but I, I don't know it wasn't really a, i guess they were booster packs but i, I wouldn't really consider those like a proper you know proper crazy set but i don't know um palkia mew very amusing and a another yveltel god arceus down be damned so if this doesn't have one of the base trio the umbreon or the shiny magic card this could be probably the worst dark sylveon box or, or lance's charizard box you're probably likely to see on youtube because normally classic you know you've seen our previous videos like classic collections like normally you get one out of every you know one out of every three packs or so you know so certain so, like you know when you actually get them so yeah cosmog a Zashin, and a kyoga oh my goodness so the only two real hits were the were the Zashin and the kyoga so these things can happen i saw quite a bad um a bad box from primal lugia he um, he had an etb and the pools were like like multiple professor oaks but i didn't even get a imposter professor oak or anything else from from that dark sylvian box so let's hope that this you know charizard box lance's charizard v box um will you know give us um something something quite epic so maybe maybe even the charizard oh my goodness I, I hear I, every so often I see people saying about comments about destroying the boxes. Well, like they're, they're meant to be recycled. And I need, I'm not going to keep every single box that is in there. And if I, you know, if you rip them from the sides, it's a lot easier to get the get the things out. So, uh, oh yeah. So also they've got the lovely booklet. So, so this is quite interesting. So in uh, Japan, they're, they're talking about Gym Heroes here in Lance's Charizard V. But this I think is more of a throwback to the Japanese um, Lance's Charizard from the, you know, from the versus series because you know the gym poke the gym the gym ones had the you know icon they were like half arts and they had the icon in the bottom so i think this is you know even though they're because it's not because we didn't get that card in english they're probably like not not like including it in there you know they're talking about more about the gym pokemon but i, I don't know i don't know the lancer's charizard v is still an absolutely gorgeous promo card let's take a look at that might end up getting a few more of these to get graded but um, we'll have to see these these are going to be probably not as common as the hidden fates tins because um they i think they produce a lot more tins there's a lot more different celebrations products but yeah let's you know let's get a good old zoom in there i must say it looks absolutely beautiful if we look at the you know the definition of the head there you've got the dragon uh champion lance there which is quite funny he's a dragon champion but he's you know got a charizard here but uh yeah charizard's iconic we all love a charizard who doesn't love a good charizard in their life like every couple of months <laughs> but yeah that promo is absolutely gorgeous so we'll put you there next to the jumbo which also i must admit looks absolutely amazing so Put you there. I will actually sleeve this up. Um, I probably should sleeve the Dark Sylveon up at some point. But yeah, I'm surprised. The Dark Sylveon box has also been quite popular in its own right. Like I knew obviously the Dark Charizard was going to sell more. And we are charging the same price for both Dark Sylveon and, um, you know, Dark Charizard. But I, I'm surprised. Dark Sylveon's doing quite well in its own right. I guess it's just, you know, celebrations hype and you know, people just wanting celebrations in general and stuff. But yeah so we've got ourselves again four packs of celebrations and two regular packs so now let's see if we can go 13 sort random sword and shield boosters without a single white code let's see let's see if we can do it so we've had um like five or six packs in the elite trainer box one pack before that and like we are absolutely 
you know, I've seen people post um, crazy pulls from their random sword and shield boosters, but it just shows you how random when you're just getting, oh, bronze on's good, I'll take a bronze on. Um, it just shows you, like, how random, like, sword and shield boosters, um, you know, are. Like, now that's that's 13, <laughs> that's 13 sword and shield packs without a single, random sword and shield packs without a single, even a white code. So, <laughs> obviously, if you open a booster box, you normally get around five to six V, V max secret hits in total, mostly Vs and sometimes well sometimes seven or eight actually and you know the, the pull rates are a lot because you know you're, you're opening like the majority of a booster box but yeah when you're opening random packs you never know what you're gonna get professor's research and a here comes team rocket there we go so we actually got the you know the dark sylveon so now we've got the um the, the, the here comes team rocket to go with our to with our dark sylveon which is awesome so not too much to see here because of how um you know there's very little hollow on the pattern but a very iconic card from Team Rocket. You know, it was a hollow rare and a, ho a regular rare in the set, so you needed both versions. And yeah, still, you know, everyone loves a bit of Team Rocket. The um, Jesse and James full art from Hidden Fates, even though they reprinted the heck out of that, you know, out of that set, they're still, still so, you know, um, they reprinted so they printed so many of those. It's, uh, that still, you know, got some value to it. Like people do love Team Rocket. They're just iconic anime villains. I think it would be a struck, maybe like Freezer from Dragon Ball, like, but. You'd probably struggle to name like a more iconic anime villain, probably like that's more recognizable in, like around the world than Team Rocket. So we got nice Ho -Oh, as a Naeus, another Zashin, and oh, <laughs> okay, okay. So this is made up for the um, for the Dark Sylveon box. So we've pulled our second Mew EX, which is I'm very happy to see this over a like a fifth Dom Fan Prime or another card that I've had I've got a duplicate of so I will happily take a, another Mew EX but uh, I still love those wavy patterns they've got going on in the background there absolutely gorgeous um yeah so this will probably be up for swaps actually on our discord I'll, I'll post that on my discord server in the swapping area make sure you list your needs and what other cards you have and stuff but yeah this darkness of blaze pack is very squishy like very squishy it's quite hard to see on camera but it's very squishy and loose so i wonder if this has finally got a hit or are we going to be going 14 sword and shield random packs without a single without a single even of like a i don't know a a glaring cursler or something that's champion's path you know what i mean like a really just a v, a v of any description or even a hollow let's see are we going to hit get another bad hit Kangaskhan and a Hipper down. Wow. I don't think you'll ever see anyone else on YouTube open 14 random sword and shield booster packs in a row on camera. Um, obviously, they're from different products, and that's bound, that, 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 there is a chance that can happen, but I'm just so happy I pulled them you now, so that's actually giving me something good. And also, we've got the Here Comes Team Rocket for our for our collection, so we've actually, you know, we're doing quite well. But surprisingly, I have not pulled the um, Professor's Research for art. Yeah, I've pulled pretty much every... Well, obviously not the secret Mew, but I think I pulled every other card from the main set. But we're still waiting for that Professor's research, and another another Zashin because why not? We needed more. Sorry, Zamazenta. Another Zamazenta because we needed more of those. But the Zashin is actually quite good. I'm going to be testing that on my Twitch stream later today. Twitch.tv forward slash Playscape Games. Um, you can use the ability to get energy out of your deck. Attach it to uh, like Dragapult or a Cool V Pokemon, and you've got free energy for the turn. It's really good. So we've got Palkia, Yveltel, Flying Pikachu, always happy to see a Pikachu, and a Cosmog. So nothing too epic from the end there, but um, I'm just happy that I've got these awesome... Obviously the Mew is a nice, you know, it's, it's nice to get another Mew, which will be good for trading. Hopefully someone can get me a Venusaur or a Blastoise for that if I'm lucky, but um, it's all about these gorgeous promos, to be honest. Uh, I love these promos. They've done a really good job of these. Some of the, like, you know... GX Tins and Hidden Fates and Champion's Path promos are quite lame, but they've actually done a real good job of these. Please leave a comment below. Have you, have you, you know, managed to pull five, you know, done better with your Dark Sylveon or Charizard boxes, you know? Um, have you managed to, like, get, like, 15 green code from Rap Sword and Chill Boosters about a single hollow? I'd love to know what you're up to. And, yeah, please remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and, uh, yes, I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. A huge thank you to all our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Playscape Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.